हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू इंजीनियर्स अकेजमी डू सब्सक्राइब माई चैनल इफ़ यू हैव एंड डन इट येट नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व सम ऑफ द प्रॉब्लम्स रिलेटेड टू कपल्स सो द फर्स्ट प्रॉब्लम इज द मेन ट्राइज टू ओपन द वॉल्व बाई अप्लाइंग कपल फोर्स ऑफ सेवेंटी फाइव न्यूटन टू द व्हील डिटर्मिन द कपल मोमेंट प्रोड्यूस्ड एंड इन द सेकेंड प्रॉब्लम इट इज सेट दैट इफ द वॉल कैन बी ओपन विद अ कपल मोमेंट ऑफ ट्वेंटी फाइव न्यूटन मीटर determine the required magnitude of each couple force which must must be applied to the wheel so in the first case the force magnitude is given and in the second case the couple magnitude is given so as we know that the uh, the moment couple that is always equal to f times d and d is the perpendicular distance between the two forces that are producing the couple so now in the first case for problem 474 the force magnitude is given and force magnitude is 75 and the perpendicular distance between both of these forces is 300 mm this is 150 plus 150 so this is 300 so 300 divided by 1000 will give us 0.3 meters So seventy-five into zero point three, seventy-five into zero point three. This gives us twenty-two point five. So this is twenty-two point five newton meter. And if we assume that the counterclockwise moment is positive, then as we can see that this, these two forces they are rotating the wheel in the clockwise direction. So this means that we need to put minus sign here. So ultimately we will get minus. Twenty-two point five newton meter, or we can say that the 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 couple moment is twenty-two point five newton meter in the clockwise direction. Similarly, in this in problem four seventy-five, again we can use that uh, couple moment that will be equal to f times d. but uh, this time as we know that these two forces the direction of these two forces tells us that they are producing the clockwise moment so for that if the counter clockwise moment is considered to be positive then this is minus right and in this case in 475 it is said that the wall can be opened with a couple moment of 25 newton meter so couple moment is given that is 25 newton meter and is the diagram suggests that the this moment need to be in the clockwise direction so this should be minus so now if we put this value in this equation so we will have minus 25 equals to minus f into d and the perpendicular distance between these two forces is 300 mm so that is 0.3 meters so this is 0.3 so Minus sign will cancel out, and we will have F equals twenty five divided by zero point three. Remember that this twenty five is in newton meters, and zero point three is in meters. So twenty five divided by zero point three. This gives us force. This meter will cancel out, and the force is equal to eighty three point three three newton. so this this is the solution of problem 474 and problem 475 now the next problem is that determine the magnitude of force f so that the resultant couple moment is 12 kN meter counter clockwise where on the beam does the resultant couple moment act so first of all we are given the resultant couple moment which is 12 kN meter so i will write that the resultant couple is given that is 12 kN meter and it is counter clockwise so this is plus this is counter clockwise and we always assume that the counter clockwise moment is considered to be positive so now we can find the resultant moment couple the resultant moment couple on this beam so for that we have to resolve this force f since the perpendicular distance between these two forces is not known so these two forces are parallel to each other and they are making 30 degree with the vertical so we have to resolve these so if i resolve these two forces so we will have 
the cost component this one will be the cost component this one will be f um, f cos of 30 and similarly we will have the the sine component which will be acting in this direction so this one is this is f sine of 30 and similarly we can resolve this um, this force as well so it will have two components as well it will have one component which is going to act in this direction this one will be the cost component and similarly it will have sine component so now the resultant couple which is equal to plus 12 kilonewton meter this will be equal to now as we can see that the cost component they are producing the counterclockwise couple like this so we will write plus and f is not known so f cos of 30 and the perpendicular distance between both of these cost component is this distance which is 0 0.3 so i will multiply it with 0 0.3 and similarly the the couple produced by the sine components is zero since the perpendicular distance between both of these components is zero so we can write that plus f sine of 30 but the perpendicular distance between both of these is zero so they are not going to produce any couple so only the cost component of these two forces are producing the couple in the uh, counterclockwise direction Similarly, this uh, these two 8 kN forces, they are producing a couple in the counterclockwise direction. So, let me remove this since this is 0. And both of these are producing um, the counterclockwise moment. So, we will write plus 8 kN and the perpendicular distance between both of these um, 8 kN forces is 1.2. So, we will multiply this with 1.2. So now remember that this um, this is given in 12 kilonewton meter this is in meter this is in kilonewton and this is in meter so ultimately we will get the force in kilonewton so now this is a 12 kilonewton meter this is f cos of 30 into 0 0.3 and or we can say let me write this is uh, let me bring this term to the other side of equation so it will become minus so we will have plus 12 minus 8 into 1.2 and we will have f cos of 30 into 0 0.3 and if we divide both sides of equation by cos of 30 into 0 0.3 so cos of 30 into 0 0.3 so this will cancel out and we will have f equals to this thing so let's find it this is 12 minus 8 into 1.2 divided by cos of 13 multiply by 0 0.3 so we get 9.24 kilonewton so the force need to be 9.24 kilonewton in order to have the resultant couple moment of magnitude 12 kilonewton meter in the counterclockwise direction so this is the solution of this particular problem i hope these three problems will help you in your learning do subscribe my channel for the solution of such more problems from engineering statics by hibler